telling a story on Dante, so on Amico. So you think back to your your high school memories. Do you, how much do you remember of him? The little pipsqueak in the back end. Man, I, I tell people to this day he's the most athletic safety I've ever played against in high school. He'd go from one side of the field to the other one, TFL on the back of it. Mm -hmm. Made no sense to me. I didn't know how like how he got there, but he did. He's really like one of the best athletes I played against. Did you guys pay attention that he was five seven? I mean, he shouldn't have been doing that. Oh, we paid attention to him, but just we didn't know how to stop him. He would just, no matter how big somebody was, he would just fly through them and get the ball. It was just he was uncontrollable, honestly. Okay, enough of that. So, you, you, your thoughts? Are there more nerves for this one since you're you're obviously going to start compared to the last two years when when you played? But now you're a key guy. It's. I mean, I've been waiting for this opportunity since I was a little kid. Yeah, um, I've dreamed about this moment, this opportunity I'm getting. I'm excited to get after it, and if the work is done throughout the week, there's nothing to be nervous about on Saturday. So we're going to get this work in this week, and we're going to be good this week, and we're going to go out and win this game. Darius, it, it seems a theme here that some of the guys have been saying they feel like for this game that this team has something to prove. Not only do they individually, but just as a unit. What do you think that this team is looking to prove on Saturday? That, you know, we lost a few key guys last year, but with the work and the preparation we're putting in, there's not going to be no drop off from this year, the last year, because we're going to be prepared just as we was last year. And we got a few, a lot of guys, actually a lot of guys stepping up to play as that key role to start and, uh, you know, provide for this team and produce this team. So we're going to be a good team. This is the defensive line has talked all preseason about how excited they are to be more attacking, be more free to play. But there also has to be a little bit of a balance there, doesn't you still got a gap of some, you still got things you have to do. Is that a big focus going in? I've still got to play my role that I've, you know, while I'm attacking? Oh, for sure. You know, our defense is more of an attacking demons, like I've said before, but we still have assignments to do. So if we're not in our, like, our right gap and there's two people in that gap instead of one, then there's a big, huge gap somewhere else. So even though we're allowed to attack and we're allowed to, like, actually get after a little bit, we still got our assignments to do. It's, there's a lot of discussion also about the offensive line having to communicate. Is there more than what people know about communicating on the defensive front? Oh, for sure. Just like communication is key offense and defensive line. You know, we have our four up front, three or four up front, and we also have eight other guys in the back. And if we communicate and we all work as a team, like up front, we get to like get after a little bit and make plays and the guys in the back end don't got to worry about covering their guy just as much or covering anybody just as long. So yeah, communication is key.